Good day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Isla Iwatan. In this episode, we are going to build an airport. The airport we're going to build today is based on the old Mactan Cebu International Airport with a little twist of my own. This episode is the number one requested build from you guys. So I apologize for taking a little while to make this episode because I really didn't want to half ass it. I didn't know anything about airports, so I took extra time to research about it. This episode is going to be a little bit longer than usual, so I've organized them into multiple chapters, which you can check out the timestamps in the description below. The first part will be building the basic layout of the airport, then detailing the terminal, building the train connections, and building the casino hotel resort. Then I'm going to detail the runway and the taxiways. We're going to talk about the airport markings. So every single line painted on the ground at the airport means something. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of what those markings are so you can identify them when you're building your own. Or the next time you're at an airport, you can kind of show off to your friends and families on what you know about airports. This is a fun little thing to see how the airport actually works dependent on these lines and markings because these lines are the bread and butter when it comes to moving around the airport. So now we're at chapter one, just outlining the basic layout of the airport. Since East Lake Bataan is a very small city, this is just going to be a very small airport with four terminals with one runway. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, just finishing up here with the resort area. I'm not really sure if this is a cypress tree or a juniper tree. And I'm not even sure if this was made by Mr. Mason or P. Delmo. If you know, please let me know in the comment below. And before we move on, I just want to show you the flow of the passengers the moment they step off the plane and to their next mode of transportation. So as you can see here, the passengers gets off the plane through the jet bridge and they'll go through the airport. They may stop to use the restroom or go through customs and hopefully they won't find any contraband. Then through the baggage claim and out the door. Assuming everything goes right and they don't get stopped by scammers, they'll either grab a cab or a bus. As you can see here, a lot of people choose to cross the road. They'll either go straight through this bridge to the resort or they'll take the train. So they have two options here. They can either take the long haul PNR train or the intercity MRT train. Now let's talk about lines and airport markings. Let's start here at the gate. As you see here, there is a red and white line etched out on the outskirts of the gate. Basically, this means this is the gate itself. You cannot cross this red line without some sort of permission, whether you're working on the aircraft, whether you're authorized to be in there. If you go past the red line, that is the danger zone, unless you know what you're doing because there could be plane with live engines that could suck you in and tear you to pieces. That is something probably you don't want to happen. So it is an outline that ground staff needs to be wary of being around aircrafts. Now you'll also notice this long yellow line. This is the gate center line where aircraft actually want to line up with taxiing into the gate. That will get them at a good distance to attach to the sky bridge. Along with the center line are hash marks that are labeled for different types of aircrafts. And these solid yellow lines are the taxi lines. So this is the runway. There are a couple of things to point out here. Here we have the big painted runway number. So 04 is what this runway is. The zero and the four indicate that it's on or about 40 heading that is what the numbers mean and on the opposite side of the runway is the runway 22 which is on or about 220 heading now this is called a stop bar you can see here it's a double dashed and double solid yellow line it's kind of boldest of the bold which means you definitely cannot cross this line unless you have permission because you don't want to end up with another aircraft landing on top of you there could be a number of bad things could happen so they want to make those markings as clear as possible. Now let's talk about these signs here. These signs are vitally important to an airport and for the pilots to know and to identify where they are. Anything that's black with a yellow letter means that is the active taxiway you are on. So this means we are on taxiway delta. And then a sign with red and white lettering will always mean you are coming up on a runway and it will say which runway it is. So it goes from left to right. So left is 22 heading and right is 04. And same number will be painted on the ground. But if you are just on a normal taxiway, this is how it goes. So again, we have the black and yellow lettering, meaning this is taxiway Bravo. And if you make a left, you're going to be on taxiway Delta. Over here is another marking I want to show you. There is something called the ILS, short for Instrument Landing System. All it is is a sensor on the ground that helps modern aircraft to land automatically, especially during limited visibility. And taxiing aircraft sometimes gets in the way of these sensors. So these are the stop bars for the ILS where aircrafts would stop so they won't interfere with the automatic landing equipment for the aircraft currently landing. So that's kind of just the general overview of airport markings. 
every airport are kind of different. Every airport have a little bit of variation to this. But generally, these major markings are the same. So next time you're at an airport, see if you can identify these markings. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, send them to me as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button. Otherwise, mabuhay and see you next time.